This baked halibut with a simple herbed mayonnaise crust is one of my favorite fish recipes. It's light and flaky, yet meaty enough to fill you up and amazingly flavorful with just a handful of fresh herbs and other ingredients. I visited my aunt and uncle in Alaska when I was eight years old and caught this massive 25 pound halibut that I think was half my weight at the time. And I have been a fan of halibut ever since. So if you normally grab salmon or cod at the market, I say it's time to switch it up with this personal favorite recipe of mine. Let's dive in. To get started, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in a small bowl, combine the topping ingredients, which includes one third cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about the amount you'll get from a small lemon, and one tablespoon of parsley. Now, I'm not very good at eyeballing and chopping small amounts of herbs, so I usually end up chopping too much, like today. But that's okay, because I'll just put any extras in a little storage container in the fridge and then add them to other meals throughout the day. It's sort of like accidental meal prep. So after you add one tablespoon of parsley to the bowl, you'll wanna chop two tablespoons of chives, but only add one to the bowl now and save the extra chives for sprinkling on at the end. If you've made a few of my recipes by now, you know that I love shallot. It's a softer onion flavor with a hint of garlic, and I think it's perfect on white fish recipes like this halibut. So finally dice one whole shallot by first separating the halves and removing the outer skin, then dice it up into really small pieces. You want the shallot to sort of melt into the mayonnaise on top and not be overly chunky. The other fun thing about the shallot is that it imparts a purplish pink color to the tops of the halibut after it's baked, which is a fun burst of color. So add that to the bowl along with one teaspoon of Dijon mustard for just a hint of spice and a generous sprinkle of salt and pepper. Then give it a stir to mix it all up. All right, so let's talk fish. You'll need four halibut fillets for this recipe, and mine are about six ounces each. But if you wanna use one large whole halibut fillet, you could do that as well. Halibut is a thicker, meatier fish than cod, but similar to cod, it takes just a few minutes to bake in the oven. Lightly oil a baking pan, and you can either brush this on the bottom or just use your fingers to coat it as I'm doing, and then place your halibut fillets in the pan. I never usually have a problem with the halibut sticking to a ceramic baking dish like this, but I'm sure that light drizzle of oil definitely helps as well. Dollop a few big spoonfuls of the mayo herb topping on the fillets so that they're really well coated, and if some of it slips down the sides of the fish, that's okay too. Messy food is tasty food in my opinion. Once all of the halibut fillets are coated, just pop them in the oven. Halibut cooks really quickly. It only needs about 15 minutes to become nice and flaky. So do make sure to set your timer so you don't accidentally overcook it. And then when it's almost done, what I like to do is turn the top broiler on for a minute or two, just so that the top forms more of a crust. And that's pretty much it. This halibut recipe is really easy and foolproof and perfect for a healthy weeknight meal when you wanna get dinner on the table fast. The only thing you have to be careful of is not overcooking the fish because it will dry out if it's overcooked. But the top crust also helps to prevent that, which is one more reason why I love this recipe. Before serving, sprinkle a little extra of those chopped chives on top for a pop of green and then dig in. This halibut will be incredibly moist, light and flaky and oh so delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you need a little inspiration for side dishes to serve with the halibut, make sure to check out my website. And with that, I will take my bite and see you again in the next video.